Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. Last year I made this stool and I've got a bit of fabric left over. This lampshade was here when I moved into the house and I've never liked it, so my plan is to use that fabric to make a new lampshade. To do it, I'm going to need to cut out some wooden discs, so I need a jig for the bandsaw to cut them out. I have made a circle cutting jig before, but that was for my old bandsaw, so I need a new one. First, I'm going to cut down some 9mm ply to use as the base for it. I want the jig to run in the mitre slot, so I shave down some wood so it's going to fit into it, and then I can get it cut to length. I get the bit of ply put on the bandsaw, and I mark out where the centre of the mitre slot is. get some CA glue put onto the runner I've made and now I can get it glued onto the bottom of the sled. I also glue another scrap of wood to the front of this sled and this is going to act as a stop. At the moment I've got a resawing blade in this machine and it works great for cutting straight lines but it's going to do a terrible job of cutting circles so I'm swapping it out for a new one. I got this quarter inch one from Axminster and I'm just going to get that installed. Now I can turn the machine on, get the jig, put it onto the mitre slot and run it into the blade until the stop hits the saw. I can now use that slot I've cut as reference and draw a line going 90 degrees from it. Along this line I'm going to mark out a 1cm increments. I can then use a 6mm bit and this drill guide to drill through on all those marks. Going for 6mm as a dowel will fit perfectly in there. So that's the jig made. Now I can start cutting the bits for the lampshade. I'm going to cut two squares out of this 9mm plywood, 30cm square. I draw from corner to corner so I can mark out the centre point on both of these pieces. I can use the same drill and guide to drill all the way through both of them. The dowel can go through this piece and then into a hole on the jig. Now the jig can go back onto the bandsaw, this time though the blade is going to cut into that square, all the way in until we hit the stop again. Once I'm at the stop, I can slowly start turning the disc. The first one's come out really nicely, so I get the second one on and do exactly the same. When the second one's cut out, I get the pin removed, move it over one closer to the blade and get it back on. I can then push it back into the blade and make another cut, this time cutting a ring. And this has actually worked out better than I ever imagined. Now there is that thin cut mark in this ring, so I'm just going to get the two bits glued together and clamped up. So back to the first disc I cut, I draw a line down the center and then mark it out into quarters. I need this to fit on a standard bulb holder, so I found a hole saw that's going to work perfectly for that. And I just use the hand drill to get this drilled out. Now, I don't want the top of the lampshade to be this solid disc. I want to lighten it and let some more light and heat go through it. So I'm going to drill out some big holes using a hole saw in the pillar drill. With four holes drilled, it's removed a lot of the bulk and it's quite a pleasant shape. So then I can take it over to the spindle sander 
and give it all a clean up. To make the shade you need to stick the fabric to some of this sticky back plastic sheet so I roughly work out how long I'm going to need it to be to go around these discs and then I can get it cut to length. I want my shade to be 28 centimeters tall so then I can get this cut down to that. I get the fabric laid out on the bench and the instructions say that you should then use an iron on it. I couldn't find one of these in the Fest Tool catalogue, so I just skipped that step. The back of this plastic sheet just gets pulled off and stuck down. I then trim off any excess fabric, leaving about a two centimeter border going all the way around. I put some thin double sided tape around the outside of this. I'll put a link down below to this and all the other bits needed. The backing of the tape can then get removed and then the fabric gets folded over and stuck down. And then just repeat this step doing it on four sides. So now I've got to do the part that I think is the most tricky, getting the fabric stuck to these discs. So I'm using the same double-sided tape to go around the outside of the wood. I get the backing removed from both of them and then I can get it positioned onto the back of the fabric. Now I need to roll them at the same time until I've got the fabric going all the way around these. I found moving to the end of the bench and pulling it towards me was much easier. And that's it all together. Now I can get it fitted and finally get rid of that whole world one and let there be light. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons, and please subscribe for more videos.